two weeks to a month ago. So it is not talking about what was happening mm -hmm. after the alliance has been announced. So you would have to wait for a month or so and then do another poll to see what is the reaction of Ghanaians to the alliance. So I think that is the first start. But this poll also tells us something. It tells us that our flag bearer on his own, Alan Chairman thing, has 7% of the vote at the very minimum. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Now, if in coming out and standing on your own, you have 7% of the vote, over the last God knows how many elections, who has ever got 7% of the vote? All the political parties combined could not even get 1%. So that tells you that something fundamentally different is about to happen in this election. And that there's a drift out of the traditional parties, mm -hmm. more out of NPP than NDC, into the non-aligned domain. And you can see the numbers as they stand now. <clears throat> what it tells you is that as the election goes on, if this drift continues to happen, then the groups that are not in NDC or MPP will then be the ones that grow the most. And you don't need to be a wizard to figure that out. If you look at the non-committed group, they are about 45%. Mm -hmm. So if I'm non-committed at this stage of the game, it means that I really don't want to commit myself to the ones that I can see. I'm waiting for somebody to commit myself to. So, again, you expect them to get a bigger share of that 45%, particularly if they can project themselves well and give the real feeling that we are here to win.